Hey everybody, it's your boy LeBay of Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor if you haven't done so already, and I'm not sure why you haven't. I don't even know why you haven't, but go down below, like and subscribe to the channel. While you're down there, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about every time I drop a video to YouTube. I have weekly content. I want to thank you for riding with me so far. Let's keep it rolling today with another stellar review. As you all know from previous content, I did a review on Roja Dove's Oceania. I'm going to link that in the description below. However, today I have another banger from the company for you. I reached out again and they were gracious enough to send me a bottle for my review. Today's review is going to be on Roja Parfums Oligarch. Now, Oligarch came out in 2016. The nose behind the fragrance is, of course, the incomparable Roja Dove. Here we go with a note breakdown. You all know that, you know, Roja puts in 75,000 notes to his fragrances. That's why they stand head and shoulders beyond the rest. Here we go from the top. The top, we have lemon, bergamot, lime, lavender, and thyme. In the mid, we have apple, black currant, orange blossom, champaca, jasmine, lily, and coconut. And in the base, we have juniper berry, birch, pink pepper, cedar, maite, leather, anise, tonka bean, patchouli, oak moss, amber, violet root, musk, and vanilla. Whoo, and a partridge in a pear tree because that is a lot of notes. <laughs> but what you get from these notes, man oh man, as we're going to find out, primo, primo. Sizes and prices, this is a 50 mil bottle. 50 mil, this is going to run you 245 pounds if you are in the UK. 325 USD plus tax if you were in the States. It's not inexpensive, ladies and gentlemen. It's not inexpensive. However, for quality, you are going to have to pay. I'm just going to say this. This is described as for the man who wants to make a statement and draw people into his charm. I'm going to tell you what, right now, 2022 is less than two weeks away-ish. I'm trying to draw people into my charm. <laughs> I'm trying to take my reviews and my content and my social media as far and as wide as it's going to take me. So I'm going to try to draw people into my charm to have them sign on. And this is exactly what Oligarch does. It is my scent of the day. I do have this tester strip. This room is filled with Oligarch because this is my third time filming this video. So I'm going to do it again just for y'all. The atomizer is beautiful. And what you're going to do here, oh, on the smell, on the opening, you're going to be met with a modern, suave blast of polished citrusy vetiver. That's what I get. The, the citruses are front and center here. Front and center. Um, if you like vetiver in your fragrances, I know that's not a note in the breakdown. However, I do get a vetiver tinge to the uh, start of the fragrance. The citruses in the top of the fragrance are effortless, completely effortless. I don't know how Roja does this, but it just seems like he throws stuff into something and magic comes out because this is effortless. Um, the citruses are very clear in what they want to do and how they interpret themselves and what they're designed to do. You, you get the lime and the lemon and the bergamot. However, I will say to my nose, the lime, lemon and bergamot actually marry so well together that they smell, they give off a grapefruit vibe. Now, I'm not sure how that happens, but I am getting a distinct grapefruit vibe from the citruses in the top. And since I get a grapefruit vibe, I am reminded of not that this is a clone of, not that this is the same fragrance, but I am getting reminded of Terre de Hermes EDT. Now, if you like Terre de Hermes EDT, I absolutely think that you should try out Oligarch. It's a beautiful composition. Like I said, the two fragrances stand on their own merits. Oligarch is head and shoulders above a lot of stuff, including Terre de Hermes. However, I am getting those vibes. If you like Terre de Hermes, you need to check out Oligarch. Um, the coconut vibes are slightly present for me. I do not get them in abundance. I do not get coconut in abundance here. 
it's kind of present for about two or three minutes and then it pushes its way to the back of the room. Um, so I don't get the coconut vibes. I wish I did because I do love coconut in a fragrance. However, it's just kind of a fleeting afterthought to my nose. Um, the fragrance overall is charming. It is so charming and it is so regal. I absolutely believe that some oligarch around the world is wearing this as we speak. Now, if you don't know what an oligarch is, an oligarch can be a man or a woman in a position of power, maybe politically or, you know, just a CEO boss type vibe. That is an oligarch, typically heads of state, but can, can be, you know, other positions as well. I absolutely absolutely think that some head of state somewhere is wearing oligarch right now this is a man or a woman can be a woman as well in their mid 50s who plays a stock market uh, and wears monk strap shoes if you're a man you're wearing monk strap shoes with this fragrance absolutely you got your nice custom fit suit on if you're a woman you are wearing the most beautiful pants suit that you could ever afford plus like some uh, red bottom heels, absolutely. This is that mode, definitely. Um, they're playing the stock market. You're sitting in your Mercedes Maybach S680, which retails for over $200,000. You have the light coffee tan leather interior. You're eating a fruit. You're eating fruit. You're eating citruses in this car. That's exactly what I get. Why would you be eating in this car? I have no idea. I would not want to mess that car up for anything in the world. But if you can afford it, you can probably afford to have it clean. You are eating citruses in your Mercedes Maybach S680. The leather is just coming up. The fruits are coming in. You are in a position of power. You are just kind of decompressing between meetings and you are wearing Oligarch. This is a fragrance of success. Fragrance of success. But this person, this oligarch, is not so uptight that they can't let, you know, their hair down, so to speak. So if you're a gentleman and you're an oligarch, after work, you're going to take off your tie. You're going to go have a drink with your colleagues. You're going to, you know, tell, tell jokes and things like that. If you're a woman, you're going to, you know, do the same thing. You know, take off your blazer relax a little, you know, just have a couple of cocktails and, and uh, celebrate your achievements. Maybe you are in, uh, in the last quarter of, of the fiscal year and you just made $500,000 in profits and your team is right behind you cheering you on and boom, you are going to be wearing Oligarch. That is exactly the person or persons wearing this fragrance. Um, this is an 11 out of 10. This fragrance is an 11 out of 10 in my personal opinion. It's amazing. It's amazing. And I'm not just saying that because the company sent it to me. You, not, you guys know I do not give favorable reviews because I get product. I don't do that. I never will do that. If you think I do that, I don't know what to tell you. I just don't know what to tell you. I don't do that. I never will. You guys deserve honesty. You guys deserve transparency. And that's what you will always get from my content, period, point blank, end of story. This is an 11 out of 10, lasts about eight hours on my skin, gets me through a full work day that I, I cannot complain about that. Have you tried Oligarch? If you have, let me know in the comments down below. Get a sample at least. I need you guys to try this. I need you guys to try this. This is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. That's my time. I wanna thank Roja Dove, I want to thank Jack Hewitt. I want to thank Roja Parfums for continuing to support my vision and my channel and my social media. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. That's my time. I'll check you next time.